Hey fellow writers, this is Rich Blazevich, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to write an outline for a nonfiction book. Now, if you wanna see more videos like this, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Specifically, what I'm gonna cover in this video is how an outline can help you write your book, and then I'm gonna show you something I call the BOSS approach to writing an outline. And I love acronyms, BOSS is an acronym, and it stands for Brainstorm, organize and structure. And I'll explain what that means here in just a minute. There are three main reasons I recommend you write an outline for your book. The first one is it really speeds up the writing process. What you'll find is if you're writing a book and you don't have an outline, you're likely to run into dead ends. You're likely to get stuck in places where you don't know what to write about next. Having an outline removes that barrier because you're always going to know what you should write about next in your book. The second reason is having an outline makes for a much clearer, much more organized book. If you don't have an outline, then as you write it, you're gonna tend to lose your train of thought. Sometimes readers won't be able to follow along with you. So by building an outline first, you can organize your thoughts and your book will flow much more smoothly and readers will be able to follow along with you. And then the final reason is having an outline actually reduces your cost of editing your book. And the reason for that is an editor who is working with a book that hasn't been built off in an outline will have a harder time following it, so they'll charge you more money to edit your book. If you prepare a very clear, very organized outline, then you write your book and turn it over to an editor, chances are they'll be able to follow along with your book much more easily than if you don't use an outline when you write your book. So knowing those reasons for writing an outline, I'm gonna jump in and show you what I call the BOSS approach. Again, BOSS stands for brainstorm, organize, and structure. And I'll show you how to do this. First of all, let's talk about brainstorming. Chances are your brain already has a whole bunch of ideas on what you should include in your book. And brainstorming is simply getting those ideas out of your brain and into a place where you can look at them and then organize them. What I recommend is when you first start off doing your brainstorming session, start with what's the topic of your book. Hopefully by now you've picked a topic for your book. Then once you've clarified that topic for your book, write down who the audience is for your book. So who is going to want to read your book, write down the benefit they will get from your book, and write down the genre or the category that your book might be in. Here's an example of how that might work for a book that I'm currently writing. I'm writing a book on how to write and publish books. So here's how I would complete this exercise. I would start with the topic, which is how to write and self-publish a book. Then I would enter in the audience. The audience are people who enjoy writing and want to publish a book of their own. I would enter in the benefit. The benefit they would get from reading my book is they would get step-by-step -step instructions for writing and publishing a book. And then the genre it would be in, it would be nonfiction. It's a reference book and it's a publishing guide. So go through this exercise right now if you're working on your outline, enter in what's the main topic of your book, who is the audience, what benefit will they get from your book, and then what genre and what category might your book be in. Once you have that down, it'll be much easier to brainstorm the ideas and the topics that should be in your book. So let's get started. We're gonna use this example for a book and I'm gonna show you how to brainstorm. Brainstorm is simply just entering in the information as it comes out of your brain. So if I'm thinking about writing a book about how to write and publish a book, one topic might be how to publish the book. I might also include a chapter on how to write an outline. I might want to help people get through writer's block, so I'd include the topic of writer's block. Maybe picking a topic would be something I'd include. And editing and getting a book cover and formatting a book and preparing a budget for the publishing process. So if you are in the midst of creating your book, simply dump ideas out of your head on what topics you want to include in your book. When you're brainstorming, you don't have to organize these. You don't have to do these sequentially. You can even put ideas that you think may or may not be good ideas because in the next section, I'm going to show you how to organize your ideas, prioritize your ideas, and potentially even eliminate ideas that might not make it into your book. That's brainstorming. Once you finish the brainstorming process, you can move into the organize section of the process. Organize means simply take all the information that you just dumped out into your brainstorming list and organize it in an order in which it might appeal to your readers. So if I am writing a book about how to write and publish books, 
I'm going to want to organize that book in the order in which I want people to go through the process. The first step in my process is picking a topic for a book. Then I might want people to prepare a budget. Then from there, I want them to write an outline. After they have their outline done, I'm going to want to explain to them how to write their book and get over writer's block when they run into that. Once their first draft is done, I'm going to want to show them how to get the editing done, the formatting, get a book cover. Then after they're done with their book cover, it'll be time to publish their book. So you can see the way I took a very disorganized random list of topics, the topics that just came out of my brain in whatever order they came out, and I organized them in a very logical sequential flow. Now I've got an outline. Now I've got the list of steps that I want to include in my book. Now, as you remember, there were three letters in my acronym. B is for brainstorm, O is for organize, the next one is structure. So now that you have an organized list of topics that you want to cover in your book, I want you to add some structure to it, and that will make your outline a little more detailed. Here's how it works. For each of the topics in my book, I like to use a structure that I call the what, why, how, and then I want to use a substructure that I call the star framework. So here's the way I would organize every chapter in my book, and I would outline the chapters this way. I would take whatever the topic was. So the first topic is how to pick the topic for your book. And I would say, what does that mean? And I'd write a few paragraphs on what it means to pick a topic for your book. Then I would write a few paragraphs on why that's important. And then I would go into the how you actually pick a topic. So I would talk about what situation might you be in, what task might you be trying to accomplish, what actions do you take, and what result will you get. If you've ever practiced for a job interview, you might recognize this framework. It's called the STAR framework, Situation, Task, Action, Result. It's actually a very effective storytelling framework. So I recommend you start with this as your structure for your outline, and then you can deviate from it, but at least this way you'll know what you want to include in each chapter. So the situation might be, hey, I know you're writing a book. You might not know which topic you want to write about, so your task is to pick the topic. Here are the actions you should take when you're picking a topic for your book. And then the result will be you'll have a very clear, well-defined topic, and that will make it easier to finish the process of writing and publishing your book. So that's how I would organize the chapter. A few paragraphs on what the topic is about, a few paragraphs on why the topic is important, then the story, which would be situation, task, action, result, whatever framework you use for your story, I would include that in your outline and then end the chapter with a summary of what you just told your readers. If you want a resource to help you outline your book, then I'll give you a free resource. There's one on my website. So just go to the description for this video and click on the link for the resource. It's a template for preparing an outline. And I also include in that document several sample outlines so you can see how other authors have outlined their book using this system. So just click on that link in the description and follow the directions for downloading that book outline template. To summarize, I just showed you the BOSS framework for creating an outline for your book. It starts by brainstorming topics that you might want to include in your book, organizing those topics based on the order in which you want to cover them, and then creating some structure for each of those topics. Hopefully this approach to writing an outline will be useful for you. If you want to see more videos like this, videos about how to write, refine, and publish your book, then just hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to download that free book outline template by clicking on the link in the description for this video. Again, I hope this helps. Best wishes and happy writing.